Hello, Polly's best for you, Kiki, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now, today we're looking at Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. This is from 2002 or 2002, and this is for the Nintendo GameCube. Obviously, it was on other systems as well. So, let's have a look at how the GameCube uh, fares with it. So, I've never played this on the GameCube, so let's press the start button. And uh, let's have a look what we got with this. So, yep, this is uh, Midway. And uh, I'm just. Uh, if it's all working okay right okay so obviously it's like oh, mouse games has always been and all you've got an introduction secret so i'm just going to skip past that just to get straight through to uh game of day so yeah this is on the nintendo gamecube so let's have a look so we've got all these options let's have a look at the main options screen as well press the wrong button there that's just gone back i always do that with gamecube games because the uh i think the buttons are flipped Let's go for options and uh, let's go for game options here. A difficulty novice, I think, is the, the earliest one because I'm shit at games. A very uh, cool atmospheric music in the background. This is a game I've never played on any system, never mind the GameCube, so this will be a new one to me. So let's go back and uh, let's go for arcade. And uh, we're probably going to get a character select script. Yes, we are. Okay, so we've got some characters here. Right, I'm going to be Sonya Blade. I remember playing these on the SNES and Mega Drive, like Mortal Kombat 1, 2, etc. Whoa, we've got some 3D map here. But they've obviously enhanced the game for the uh, newer systems. Uh, uh, the... Uh, Round one. Whoa, it's all in 3D, cool. Right, okay, so this is Mortal Kombat. Have some of that. Playing against myself, it looks like. Have some of these. I'm the one in on the right, by the way. I'm the one on the left, but I'm at the minute on the I'm on the right. That's me in the green or whatever colour that uniform is. Have some of that. So your graphics are good, you've got some 3D environments here. Right, at the minute I'm the one on the left, just in case you're wondering, the one on the left. Okay, so let's just... This AI computer person doesn't seem to be very good but the, I, then again I did choose novice mode maybe it's just to help you get a chance yeah graphics are good you got you can see the mountains there you can see the rain and stuff the sky looks apart as well nice color depth in the sky just have some of that so what do you prefer do you prefer the 2d games on the mega drive or the snares or do you prefer this more like 3d tech and look um I'm not sure what to make of it yet so we'll go on to the next level even the world map with the uh, next player screen is in 3D. But yeah, I've never actually played this. So this is a first for me. So it's crazy that I've never played a game that came out so long ago. So obviously you can now tell which one I am because I'm not playing against Sonya this time. And yeah, you've got some really nice looking environments. Real definition to the environment. I like that sky there in the background. Like nice shepherds. Uh, what did I call it? Like something like Shepherd Sky Sunny Tomorrow or something. I remember that saying back in the day. But yeah, it looks apart, it looks really nice sunset. Have some of these and have some of that. So it does seem like when you win a round, you continue on without... It's quite cool the way it does that, actually. Let's get this guy here. Have some of these. Quite easy for a change on a, on a fighting game. It's quite easy on the easiest setting. I've been with fighting games before. You put it on the easy setting and it's still rock hard and like really uh, hard to uh, get the buddies. Obviously, this is a two player game as well, so you could uh, have a two player form game on this. Artificial intelligence characters or NPCs are very robotic of this era of gaming. Um, but yeah, there we go. Sonya Wings, there she is, looking all proud there. So on to the next person. Yeah, who we got next? 
We have got Johnny Cage and we're in the drum arena. So just tell us our location as well as the player that we're fighting. Yeah, I'm quite I'm quite happy with this game. It looks apart. It's got some detailed rich environments. It's got variety of the environments as well. I mean this is like a sort of canyon uh, sort of scene here and looks apart. Oh you fuck. You could probably pull off combos and stuff as well. Have some of that. There's a lot of blood and gore in the game, so it's not really suitable for anyone under the age of 18. You can probably turn that off in settings, you quite often could. But yeah, that's um, Combat Deadly Alliance on the uh, Nintendo GameCube. I'm going to give this one a nice 8 out of 10. It's a very uh, nice uh, evolution of the uh, Mortal Kombat games that was on the Mega Drive and SNES and Amiga, etc. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. Bye! And if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and facilitate them. There's not much of May left, so be quick.